Hi guys, today I'm gonna make a quick video here showing you how to replace the starter solenoid or starter relay on a CDU Fortec. That would be the GTI, the GTX, the GTS, and so many others. So right here is where my old starter relay is. Here's the power input and here's the power output. I have a video showing how to diagnose a bad solenoid. And let's go. So to start out, we're gonna have to unplug the battery. You can see it's unplugged. That way we're not gonna have any short circuits. And then we're gonna unplug both of the wires, the one that comes from the battery and the one that goes to the starter motor. So with the wires disconnected, you still have this plug here to disconnect. Uh, this is what closes the circuit between these two leads here on the starter solenoid. So for you to disconnect this, you're gonna bring this tab up and then pull the wire back. So you're gonna pull the plug out like this. With the plug out, the solenoid is almost out. So I didn't bring a camera stand, so I'm only gonna tell you what to do, but I won't be able to show you. What you're gonna have to do is, well, first off, you unplug this cable here so you have more room to work with. And then you're gonna have to pull this tab backwards a little bit in order for you to be able to pull the solenoid out. Uh, again, I don't have a stand, so I'm gonna have to do this off camera. And just like that, we're out. Uh, some models are gonna have like bolts here holding it in place. This one didn't. And also some models are gonna have the solenoid in a different place. Here we're in the front of the jet ski. Depending on the ear, you're gonna have it on the back, like right underneath the, the uh, seat. And some ears are gonna have all the way on the back. But the principle to remove it is the same. So here we go. Out with the old, in with the new. So for you to install it, it's going to be the same principle. You're going to have to pull this tab backwards here and install the relay facing that direction. Uh, so the ears here, the tabs of the relay, are going to be underneath this part right here. Whereas this part right here is going to be underneath this part of the relay. I will show you in a little bit. So as I was saying, a super easy install. Uh, here I'm going to show you what I was talking about. The tabs of the relay or the solenoid or underneath the support. Now with the relay in place, all you're gonna have to do is plug this little connection here back in place, then put the two wires. The top one is for the starter motor and the bottom one is the one that comes from the battery. Don't forget that. Having that done, you're ready to go. That's it guys, I hope this video helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe.